Hey guys, I'm Bubba, this is Tolfo. We're at Dragway at the Bend. This track is absolutely amazing. Brand new track, it is crazy. The facilities are to die for. Guys, check out the track. It is a very special place. We're very excited to be the first competitive meeting here. Today is scrutineering day. We've got almost 200 of Australia's toughest streetcars coming in, getting stickered up, ready to race tomorrow. Thanks so much to Tough Mounts, Turbo Smart, Haltech, Pacemaker, Speed Pro, GJ Drivelines, Pro Street Radials and Heron Forbes for sponsoring this event and helping us make it happen. See you at the track. Hey guys, we've got Jamie here with his 71. Yeah, TA22 Celica, Bubba, yep. See, I finally got it right. Yep, yep. Mate, tell me a bit about it. This thing looks pretty off the hook. What have you done to it? Yeah, so a uh, little Lexus 4 litre V8, um, GDR Nissan running gear in it, um, Hollinger gearbox, uh, so manual. So that'll be interesting this weekend, yeah. or this week. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, pretty much, yeah. Does the wife know how much you spent on it? Uh, yeah, she's aware of uh, a little dollar here or there, but we won't go into the full details because she'll, yeah, hang me. Yep. Don't stress, she won't see this anyway. So Jamie, tell me, who actually built the car? Yeah, so I did the car in my home shed and, um, yeah, pretty much uh, did it over a couple of years. Really? Yep, yep. Mate, it looks insane. Have you raced it before? Yes, but not in this configuration, not in the all-wheel drive. So in when it was rear-wheel drive, uh, much smaller turbo and pretty standard engine with the Lexus in it. Yeah, I have, yeah. Down at Calder though. So that was many years ago. <laughs> Probably 20 years ago, so that's how old the paint job is. So how far has the car gone as it was? Uh, only 10.5, yeah. Only. How fast are you hoping to go this weekend? Uh, I'd like to run in the low nines. Are you going to be right with the, like it's a challenge, they call it drag challenge. Are you ready for this challenge? Shit, I hope so, because um, we drove it over last night and did a fuel sensor on the way, which is critical for the mapping. Um, so we spent three hours on the side of the road swapping oil and fuel <laughs> sensors around, because as we could, yeah. All right, well, we'll hopefully see you out there tomorrow. Righto, thank you, guys. We're here with Tim with his EH Holden 1964 model, I believe. What's it got in it? So it's got a six litre LS motor with a 80 mil turbo, uh, turbo 350 and a four nine inch diff in it. And yeah, we've just come across from Perth in Western Australia. So what's that, 30 hours driving, I think it was. Got here yesterday, about two o'clock in the afternoon. Enough time to have a cold beer and a, a feed and then uh, just a bit of rest actually after all that driving, so. How far's the car gone before? I only had one really good full pass on it and it ran 10.40. Um, so obviously we've got no cage, so that's about as quick as we can go, or 10.50 10, as quick as we can go. So not much point in chasing much more at the moment. So we're going to go and dial your own uh, this week and hopefully get to the end and just see how we go. Yeah, it should be good. Is this your first time doing drag challenge? First time doing anything like this here, yeah. Probably the furthest I've driven the car is probably a 40 minute drive back at home. Um, we took it for a quick spin around the block the other day with a trailer on for the first time for about two k's and then whacked it on the back of the the carrier over here and come over sort of thing so yeah it'll it's all new and it's going to be a bit of a journey i think it's a challenging weekend but you'll have a lot of fun mate hang in there do the best you can and enjoy it cool man i'll be getting some tips off you later on don't worry <laughs> thank you mate have a good one excellent thanks man
are you laughing at? We're here with the Hack Shop boys. I hear Rumi that there's two, you guys got two cars here. Is that true? Who wants to talk first? Oh, yeah, we got two cars here now. We've got the Fairlane and we've got the VY Ute that's turboed manual. Uh, so we've kind of got to look after two cars this time. Last year we didn't go too well and we cleared the auto on the way to Drag Challenge. But this year the car's all sorted. It's got fresh auto, lots of Ks under its belt. Made it the six and a half hours drive last night. So we're ready to go. Oh man, what could possibly go wrong then? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Said no man ever. <laughs> of course, alas the world. Um, how fast have the car's gone? Uh, the Fairlane's gone an 11.2 and the Ute has gone a 12.5. Nice. No issues driving up? No, nah, no issues driving up at all. Smooth sailing. Awesome, guys. Well, we look forward to following you guys on the week and all the fun that comes with it. Beautiful. Thank you. Looking forward to it. See you, guys. Guys, I got Rick here with his Mercedes. It's an what? What year is it? Eighty-four. What? Uh, w one two three. You've gone for the good theme. I love yeah. the outfit. Thank Tell you. us a bit about the car because this thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, well, the idea behind it was um, just to actually enjoy the event as opposed to try and you know be fast and and hang around up the top. Um, you sort of lose track of the event itself. So the idea was just to have a bit of fun and, and cruise around for the week and and enjoy it. Mate, the theme is awesome. You've gone all in with like the, uh, what do we got? The old stereo, VB. I even see a magazine in the far corner. What's the magazine? Oh, it's just a, an 80s, uh, 80s Playboy, just to, to, uh, to go with the whole thing, I guess. <laughs> uh, who built the car? Uh, so it was a combination, really. Um, uh, it started off at uh, uh, Jason's shop down at Tough Mounts there. Uh, Jeremy and I towed the car up and, and stripped all the drive line out. Left it with Jace to sit the engine and uh, transmission in there and make up all the mounts, cross members and so forth. Uh, then from there it went down to Melbourne, uh, MPW. Uh, the guys there plumbed it all up and did all the fab work and so forth, got everything set up. Um, and then we did a little bit at um, Wongshaw Performance where I work as well, yeah. What's the running gear? Uh, so it's an LSA uh, stock block and crank. Uh, it's just got some uh, rods, pistons, a um, couple little G30s on it, uh, turbo 400 and a M80 uh, rear end. I heard rumoured it has aircon, is that true? It certainly does. So yeah. you can just drive this car as a daily? Absolutely, that was the idea. It's just a street car, it's not a race car, it's just a car to, for, for us to enjoy. Awesome. How fast has the car gone? Uh, we've only had it going for a couple of days, um, <laughs> so we, I think we, we might have uh, touched 140 at one point, but that was about it so far. Awesome, mate. I can't wait to see the car out there. Have some fun. And I love this car. Awesome. Good work, guys. Thanks very much. Cheers, mate. Hey guys, we've got Adam here from MPW. Just want to ask a couple of questions about this bloody beautiful walking shop. Yeah, this is Trent walking uh, from Total Works. So the boys did all the body, they did most of the work in house. We kind of just get to finish it and make it go down the track and, and do the fab work on it. So it's a bit of a team effort, this one. Beautiful. How fast has the car gone? Uh, what was it, Trent? Went 770 at 189. That's right. Not bad, not bad at all. Have you driven on the street? Yes, mate. Much? Street goes, yeah, yep. Yep, no, we drive it a fair bit. Take the kids out, go for a drive. Very comfy car. Have you done drag challenge before? I have, but we had to go home early just due to family illness. So we did the first day. I think we got an 8.0 first day at Heathcote with a pretty fresh car. So we've done a fair bit of track time since then. So she's dialed in. What motor's in it? 427, dark block, twin turbo. Nice. One of, one of our powerhouse engines combos. So yeah, Johnny at Powerhouse Engines has just got this one back together with some Carrillo rods, dark centre counterweighted crankshaft, some of his powerheads on it. Um, so it's basically the combo that we run in most of these kind of deals that we do. 
What kind of power are we talking? Uh, look, we shut this thing off early on the dyno the other day, and on 32 pound it made 1700 rear wheel. Wait, bit of fun. Who's happy? On, on pump 85, so yeah. Well, this will be uh, one to look out for, mate. Have a lot of fun, Thank drive you, safe, and have fun. Good on you, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. No stress at all, Bubba. Hey guys, we've got Andy and AJ here in their Tirana. Uh, tell us a bit about it. Yeah, it's just a six litre turbo LS, standard bottom end completely. Just valve springs, standard heads, bit of spray to get it off the line. It's been 8.3 at 165 already. Go 7 by the end of the week, hopefully. So. Awesome. Have you done drag challenge before? No, nah, it's the first one. So I've followed it the whole time, but just I wanted to bring something that was a bit different and out there for the first one had plenty of 10 second 11 second cars that I could have come in but they weren't to me it's not a challenge so we bring this out and gonna have a proper crack have you done much street driving with it oh we took it a survey the other day filled up with a trailer that's about it and so so you've done no street case this is this is what we like to see this is called drag challenge you silly sausage <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about so Mate, this, will, out and have a crack. this will be very interesting. Well, I look forward to it, mate. Um, all the best, and we'll see you out there. We've got Norm here with Aussie Desert Cooler with his purple rig at Drag Challenge. Tell us a bit about it. Uh, it's a 1932 Ford. It's got a blown 392 Hemi, uh, turbo 400 gearbox, fully manualised and a 9 inch. Oof, I love a good Hemi. How fast are you going? Um, the last Drag Challenge, it run 11.7 in street trim. Beautiful. Does it stay cool? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what are you hoping to get on the weekend? Um, I'm hoping to get a bit better than that. Uh, I've changed the dish, diff ratio, uh, so it's more susceptible to go in the straight line, but we'll see what happens. Awesome, mate. Well, you have a good time and we'll see you out there. Hey guys, we're here with Steph with Miss Hawk. Tell us a bit about your rig. <laughs> Which rig are we talking about here, hey? The fast one. <laughs> the fast one, okay. Well, it's definitely not me. Uh, this is a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. Uh, it has about 77,000 Ks on the dial now. I do use it as my daily. I put my dog in the back, I tow with it, I go to the grocery store and pick up all my shopping. It's a So brilliant. it's reliable. It is, absolutely. It's my all-rounder. And here we are down doing at the bend uh, doing the drag challenge. <laughs> How fast has the car actually gone in the quarter? Okay, so the quarter, she does about 133, 134 mile per hour by the time we reach the line. Yep, yep. Yep. What time? <laughs> the best time that we've had is a 10.19 and that was at the Dontex private private track day at Heathcote last year in November. Who actually built the car? Uh, that'll be Lee and the boys at Dontex Performance in Vermont, which is Melbourne. <laughs> oh, oh, you're from Melbourne. Melbourne You're one of those people. Yeah, yeah. One okay, of those. what class are you in? I'm in DYO, 
Oh, yeah. you're coming for them. Absolutely. Mate, it's awesome. So it's reliable, it's fast, and it looks, looks hot. All right, we'll see you back out there. Thank Have fun. You. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Alex, you're yeah, back. We are. Mate, any, what's changed with this car? Uh, the foundation's the same, but we've changed nearly yeah, every aspect of the car, from the cooling system, pipes, turbocharger, injectors, uh, converter. Uh, the <laughs> list goes on. Quite a, quite a bit of stuff. Yeah. Are you still from Tassie? Yeah, yeah. We, we've, been, uh, we've been over here a couple of times, and... Uh, sorting the car and back and forth but yeah we're still from Tassie <laughs> yeah so the car okay so you've changed a whole lot have you driven it is it reliable what issues did you have last year that you fixed this year last year we had issues with with cooling it was the car was running real warm and uh, we tried everything we could uh, to run the cooler at night etc um, try to put a sprayer on the car to keep it cool but uh, we are ultimately killing the car like it, yeah. you know the amount of K's and the roads um, and, and the wildlife at that time of night. I think it was two in the morning we turned around. So <laughs> yep, yep. Um, it's like, well, you know, we'll get another day of racing in so we can do some more testing. Uh, How fast has the car gone as it sits? Uh, it was 8.41. Uh, um, yeah, 8.41. Uh, we, we had a, three runs in the 8.40, so on the Saturday. So, Beautiful. yeah. Well, you've come to the right track to PB. This place is absolutely amazing. I bet you're excited. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm a, this facility uh, sort of blows you away when you first rock up. It's amazing, yeah. Like, to be a fresh track, first ones down it, yep. it's amazing. Mate, we're really looking forward to seeing this car go down the track and make it every track. Mate, have some fun and we'll see you out there. We will. I hope to, uh, yeah, see if we can improve on our time and uh, get the week done this time. You got this, mate. We'll see you out there. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Well, 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 what do we got here? Who do we have here? Number one, Harry Hall. The two, two fattest guys at Drag Challenge, how are we doing? But God damn, we're sexy. We make fat look good. Got Mate, this. what's happened? What are you doing and how'd you do it? Uh, I haven't been to bed for three months and <laughs> got some rust behind us or something, I don't know. What have you done? So you got a different car, what kind of motor? Talk to me! It's the HQ with a new body. <laughs> we went to the pub, got drunk, and like we said, we've got to rebuild the HQ because it's dying. And then my son and a couple of other mates decided we should build this instead. Because so, it was the same amount of work. So it's your, so it's his fault? It's my son's fault, yes. Yeah, he, well he done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so is the it's, car ready to rock and roll? The car doesn't run. It's missing about 50% <laughs> of the parts. And it's missing to a couple of con rods. But apart from that, we're good to go. Mate, you're good to go. A couple mate, of hours tonight, we'll have it sorted. <laughs> that's another couple of days. Yeah. You've got to be ready by what time? What time do you have to be ready in the morning? at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, 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 you've got plenty of time. Mate, you made it here. You're going to make it. You know, your son loves you. You're going to make it happen. Well, I'd like to thank my son because he's one that taught me into this and he built three quarters of the car. I've just been rolling panels and he's done every weld and everything on it. So it's his fault when it's piled, when I pile wad that shit up. <laughs> Look at him. Mate, tell me, okay, what else, anything about the car I need to know? Nah, it's all terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a Harry way, I love Correct. it. It's got Harry treats, I'll show you. Well, we'll get that soon, mate. All right, good all luck, right. we'll see you later on. Thanks for having us, boys. Thanks everyone for coming. <laughs> wow, Bubba, what a big day. We had almost 200 cars come through scrutineering. Uh, really fast cars indeed. 
probably number one would have to be Mark Drew's trainer, yeah? Yes, he's ran a six. He's done it a few times here. He's actually like a real good competitor. Absolutely. So he'd be our number one draft pick. Mm -hmm. Number two, we've got oh, the boys from Tassie in the Capri. They've been a Heathcote a couple of times. That car normally is nitrous, but they've gone twin turbo. They've run some very easy low sevens with a big fat tyre on it. So you can't count those boys out either. And of course, Luke Foley. Oh yeah, now that's a car. That thing grabs traction on anything, like wet tiles, anything, you name it, he can do it. He's, he's done it so many times now. He knows what to do. This is, could be his time. He's been at just about every single drag challenge. And, of course, our reigning champion, two times winner, Harry Haig. Normally, we see him in a big green HQ. What's the status on him? Mate, he's just rocked up in a new Camaro. Uh, I believe the running gear from his old car is in this thing. It's a tube car. We don't know much about it, but I'm very interested. And we all know Harry he likes to make things go wow. And it's going to be wow. Well, this could be the first pro mod at drag <laughs> challenge. Very controversial. Tune in tomorrow to see the best and most tough drag and drive event in the country.